guys, it's 8.30 on a Thursday night. And look at this, my UPS driver is just arriving. Can you believe it? Look at this. It's unbelievable. It's crazy. Talk about burning the midnight oil. I can't believe you're still working. I told you. You didn't get a backup? What's that? You didn't get a backup? Help? No. No help? Nope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, usually this time of year I gotta help her. No, are you are you uh are you, <laughs> are you on tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have unless I call in. <laughs> unless you call in, don't call in. I have like nine packages going out tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I might have to do the same thing. I don't know. It depends what I got tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's because today was insane. I can't believe how. Now, what time did you start this morning? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. <laughs> I hope they're paying you good overtime. Oh yeah, we're paying. Well, get paid overtime for sure. That's awesome. I'll show you my truck this morning. I took. A, I always take a picture of it in the morning. No way. So go, what? For a no. week? Huh? For a week's pay? Is this for a week's pay? No, no, uh, no. I said I always take a picture of what my truck looks like in the morning. Oh. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's, it's never been that bad until this year. I'm telling you, it's going to get worse. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be bad because I really wouldn't mind if I had to help her. Whoopsie. If I have a helper, it's no big deal. But I don't even got a, I didn't even have a helper today, so I'm like. Are you almost done after this? No, I'm done. Huh? I'm done. Done. Thank you so yeah, much I for coming I back. I was back Alaska. It was a mess in there today. Oh, I appreciate you coming back. Hey, no problem. This late. I'm I'll see you. Late, so I'm almost staying. What's another five minutes? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Since I already got all the overtime today, I'm also getting some money. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Guys, stay tuned. I'm going to be showing some tip, some shipping techniques uh, for the rest of this video. Hey guys, it's Donna. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to give you a quick little uh, packing tip that I use today. Um, I have this cellophane that I use. I keep it inside that box to anchor it down. And I do shrink wrap a lot of my stuff with that. As you can see here, I shrink wrapped. This is uh, two skirts. And in here I have a jewelry box that's going out. This was a buy it now, pay it now that I had. I'm going to put a little bit more protection on the side here. Just a moment. Okay, so I got some more bubble wrap and I'm just going to wrap this around to protect the edges just a little bit more. I'm just bring it right around and then just take it. Okay, now it's ready for the box. We're gonna use this box here, and I'm not Amazon, so I can't ship small, smaller things in larger boxes. So let me show you how I'm gonna shrink this down. I'm gonna put this in here. It goes over the top just a little bit. I'm gonna show you how that's gonna be okay. I'm gonna use my trusty bread knife. This is what I use for my cutting. Some people use um, box cutters. I find it very comfortable to use this bread knife. I'm gonna this side of the box and then I'm going to cut down this side of the box and I'm going to remove this flap I can do it with my hand there we go and I'm gonna save this I have an area where I save these um, these cutouts okay next I'm going to take my knife, just back up the camera a little bit, and I'm going to cut right to that box, and on this side, I'm going to do the same, 
just going to cut it right up to that, to that box. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to fold up this flap. I'm going to bring over this flap and I'm going to bring over this flap. Okay, so now the box is snugly secure in there and take my trusty, untrusty tape gun, which always gives me such a hard time. Oh. Okay. step that you're going to do is you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut down this side and you're going to cut down this side. Those sides are already cut. Okay, you can pull this all down. It's protruding out a little bit of the box because of the big bubble that I have there. So just to give it a little bit of extra added protection, I'm going to put another piece of styrofoam there on the top, as you can see, like that. I'm always saving styrofoam. I try to reuse as much stuff as I possibly can. And then I'm going to bring, sorry, this side up and this side up and then this over. this over. And I'm going to give this tape. Spin it around. And another secure tape. I use lots of tape. Lots and lots of tape. So it's a little bit messy here as you can see. I am going to tape these down. This is not going anywhere. It's not insecure inside this box. Take those down. Take that down. Take that down as well. Now, make sure that your tape is stuck on there really really well this is all taped up so I have just resized this box it is a little bit wobbly because this is all padding it's all bubble and it's styrofoam and it will be just fine and then for an extra precaution for those of you that shop my channel I almost always, I would say 99% of the time, and now with the winter coming, it might be 100% of the time, I wrap everything in a plastic bag because I'm always concerned about the elements. I don't want your packages to get wet, but it also adds an extra added security when you're resizing a box especially. You don't have to worry about it popping over. I, this is a three ply contractor bag. They're a little bit expensive, but I use them. I cut it in half and then I just flip it over and give it a piece of tape like that. And I take these flaps and I bring those over when packaging your bags and trash bags. I know a lot of people have started doing it, not just for the cubic shipping reason, but because of protection. I wrap mine to protect it. This piece here at the top, what I do is I get all the air out of it, I fold it down, give it a quick curl, the tape this way, piece of tape that way, flip it around again, and do the same process here. So go this way, and go that way. Now, this is a really heavy box. This will probably go out United, United States, um, no, I'm sorry, UPS. 
probably go out UPS and I just put lots of tape on it so it stays nice and secure and that's it you guys that's the box all wrapped up this is going to arrive nice and safely if it gets rained on I don't have to worry about it this is a really heavy box I'm going to measure it now and I really love this three ply don't skimp if you are going to do this use the three ply it's a little bit more expensive but it's much more durable than the two ply so always make sure that your tape you can see here make sure that it's secure so it doesn't unravel all right well I hope you enjoyed this video okay guys here's another little quick shipping idea this is how I do things I'm not necessarily saying that this is the right way to do things but this is how I find um, a great way to do things okay so I buy bubble wrap by huge mega rolls and they are perforated so I've cut on the perforated edge just ripped off a sheet just like this okay so i have a tremendous collection of salt and pepper shakers right now if you're not familiar with my channel or um my selling events i do sell items that i acquire from collectors and from estates and storage units so we're going to wrap these at the flamingos um salt and pepper shakers so this is the best way I think to do it put it about that far up on your bubble wrap flap this over bring this over and this over so now what you've done is if you've created a nice cushion on this side so you're not gonna bring this around like this because you've already got a cushion on that side and on this side you don't so what I do is I bring it around to this side. So now you've got a double cushion on that side and then you're gonna bring the flap over again like that. And that gives you a nice amount of cushion all the way around it. And then I tape it. All right, I'll show you that again. You know, this can be done the same way with larger items and not just small items. I'll do a larger item a different time. So here it is, here's your, here's your bubble. I always put the bubble facing the item. Some people do it the opposite way. This is the flat side and some people will wrap it. It's all personal preference. I like to put my item on top of the bubbles. Okay, so I'm gonna put it just about there. I'm gonna lift this flap over this flap over and like that that's created a nice cushion on this side and I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna wrap it from the back side and there you have it I hope this makes sense to you this is the way I've shipped them and my on the salt and pepper shakers I have had some that have arrived broken unfortunately but it happens here we go again do this side and then do that side and then that side and now we're going to wrap it around the back side of it and over so you've created cushion all around it maybe some of the cute salt and pepper shakers that we have we have lots more I hope you can come to, uh, these are the bananas for the monkey, monkey. so cute. This set is sold, Just packing it up to get ready. Okay, there you have it. You're gonna take it and go on the underneath side and bring it up. And there you have it. Okay. This monkey and this monkey go together. The bananas and the monkey. And then to give it put those together so they stay together and then to give it a little bit more added protection for the sides here and here, which didn't receive a whole lot of bubble. I'm gonna take it and then I'm gonna go up the triangle and just pack it just like that. 
goosebumps. And that's how I wrap. I hope this video helped you. Please comment, subscribe. I appreciate you being here. I hope to see you live on my channel and with options for you. Okay, have a great day.